Hey guys, it's Leanna and I'm here today to talk about All for the Game. This book series is probably not one that you expected to ever see me read or review. And I also would never have expected to see me read and review this series. It only happened because a friend of mine who is also into Riverdale, she like posted that she, that they were on sale for like a dollar on Kindle. Like the whole series was like a dollar slash zero dollars. <laughs> so she was gonna give it a go. And I was like, yeah, why the fuck not? I keep seeing these around and like, I like trashy TV. So like the same, I've been saying how like, I like watching murder mysteries on TV and murder mystery movies and I never read it. So I'm like, I watch them all the time. Why not fucking read it? So I was kind of the same. Like I was like, I watch a lot of trashy TV, like Riverdale, Outer Banks, Nancy Drew, Vampire Diaries, like bullshit like that, <laughs> Teen Wolf. So honestly, okay. So like we picked it up because we were thinking like Riverdale basically. And it's more like Teen Wolf but like more dramatic without any supernatural shit. And yeah, that's insane. So if you don't know what Teen Wolf is, Teen Wolf was a show on MTV that I watched the first like couple seasons of it. I haven't watched it. Um, I didn't watch all of it, but it's about a lacrosse team. It's not entirely about a lacrosse team, but it's about young people at this high school and like they play lacrosse. So lacrosse is in it a lot, but also the main character is a werewolf. Like there's like all this supernatural shit going on, but also like they take lacrosse like equally seriously as like the life and death situation of being a werewolf. So it's pretty extra and it's on MTV. So Foxhole Court, the all for the game. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, these kids, it really is all for the game. They are not messing around. like. It's ridiculous. Oh my God, I cannot even. So these, so first of all, the author clearly doesn't know anything about anything because this is basically lacrosse. Like they're basically playing lacrosse, but because the author knows nothing about lacrosse, she invented a sport that in the world, the universe of all for the game was invented only like 20 years before the events of the book, maybe 30 years. It's called Eggsy, spelled with a capital E. I don't know why the fuck it's spelled with a capital E. You don't capitalize lacrosse. You don't capitalize football. It's just the name of the sport, but they capitalize Eggsy. It's like XCTM for some reason. But um, slight spoilers here. The team was basically, in, or the game was basically invented by the Yakuza, cause okay. <laughs> and our main character, he's like on the run basically from the Yakuza and is living like as a alone as a teenager trying to like hide his identity, but he just like can't stand the idea of not playing Exe. So even though he knows that playing Exe might draw the attention of the Yakuza cause they are looking for him, he just can't not. So he's on his high school Exe team and he gets recruited to play on uh, at a college, on a college Exe team. And so he becomes like one of the foxes at this school because that's their mascot. And he's just like, I shouldn't and I can't and it's dangerous and I'll put everyone else's life at risk by being on this team because of the Yakuza. But he joins the team anyway because it's all for the game and he just can't live life without Exe. And then everyone on the team, it's so like the story of this team is that the coach purposely goes around looking for like charity cases and hopeless cases and just like literal psychopath murderers who are in juvie and recruits them for his exe team. So there's like literally somebody who's like accused of and was I guess acquitted of murder, but he's like on court ordered antipsychotics and he's like a fucking psychopath. And then somebody who like used to be on the Yakuza's team, but his hand was broken by the Yakuza. So he's like uh, an expat of the Yakuza's team who's now on their team. So he's already bringing heat and drama to this team without our main character joining that team. And then like the other people on the team, like they all have like hella dramatic drama backgrounds. <laughs> like it's intense as fuck. And it's just like so unrealistic and absurd. And then in addition to that, in addition to the fact that all these kids, it's like the mob is like, part of the sports thing, then, okay. So like Eggsy is a bigger deal than football in this universe. So like it's televised, there's newspaper articles about it. Like the fact that Kevin, who was like on the Yakuza's team, bro had his hand like wrecked and now joined this other team. That's like national news. So everyone's just like, why did he leave that team? And why is he on this team now? Like drama, drama. And then everyone's like, who's this new guy on the team? Like that's national news. Like they keep Neil, he's the main character. They keep him being on the team a secret until like his first game. And everyone's like, who's this new guy on the team? And it's just like, apparently every single human in the world is like following Eggsy. Apparently this team is like high enough in the rankings and, and national spotlight to warrant that kind of attention. Cause like I went to Cal, um, the Cal football team is like not that great. <laughs> and, Yes, Cal game stats are like are in the newspaper, but like 
personal drama of the guys on the Cal football team isn't like maybe it might be reported in a school newspaper, but like not really. And that's like a pretty like Cal's a pretty famous school. Like people know about Cal and like getting getting on the Cal football team would be a pretty substantial sports scholarship. Using that as my comparison, because like Eggsy is just like the shit apparently. And these kids, their team is like barely the number of people that you are required to have on your team in order to like qualify to like be in the zone that they're playing in. It's co-ed, which is just like bonkers to me because it's like a more aggressive like rugby style lacrosse, but it's co-ed for some reason because the author was like, girls and guys, more drama, which is literally, I'm pretty sure the only reason for that. And um, they, the way that these kids live, the way that they eat, the way that like, they apparently can't scrape together any other players for this team, even though a sports scholarship for a team that's prominent enough to be on national news on a regular basis should be no problem because like, you know, no problem. They're just like, they only have these like this scrappy bunch and that's it. And they're like borderline dying all the time because of like their own drama and violence and the Yakuza. So they're just like being tortured like Game of Thrones style, but like still pushing through because it's all for the game. Are you fucking kidding me? Like they're literally like being tortured and then playing the game it's all for the game I'm like, this drama is unreal okay and so like one of the most one of the things that i found the most unbelievable is like okay these are college athletes for a team that is like national news worthy and like it's a sports scholarship so they're all there for that they get wasted frequently their coach buys the liquor for them half of them are smoking cigarettes including the coach they eat garbage food all the time and like they're basically like frat boys in terms of their diet and habits but they're like extremely elite college athletes that are like the top of their game, but also psychopath murderers. <laughs> There's like no reason in the universe that the school would turn a blind eye to the types of kids that are on this team and like their backgrounds and the drama associated with those backgrounds. Like there's just like no fucking way because apparently it's not even like they could turn a blind eye to it because these kids are like worthy of the national news. So all of that drama is like, like available for people to know about. <laughs> The coach is literally buying them booze. Like every time they like do well in a game, he's like, well, I stocked the fridge with like all of the liquor. So like, let's go back and party and like, don't waste my time while he's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I'm just like, what? And then this, again, the athletes are like eating donuts and fried food. And just like, I worked at the dining commons at Cal. I know how the athletes would eat. Like they were maybe, I mean, they're kids. So they're like not perfect about it, but like they would pay attention a lot to how they are eating. They would always try to eat tons of protein, lean protein, greens like yeah they would eat pizza sometimes but like they were going to training all the time like taking good care of their bodies and again they're college students so i'm sure they're drinking and doing stuff too but like the school is putting a lot of money into these kids and like they know their place at the school is dependent on them performing as athletes these kids like are getting tortured but also wasted and eating like like the worst frat boy diet <laughs> put their Oh my god, I just, I just cannot even with these books. Like, they are so... It's all for the game. Unless it's, like, giving up sugar, MSG, and cigarettes. Also drugs. They also do drugs. I don't mean the guy who's on antipsychotics, because he's also on those. But he also does other drugs. <laughs> and it's just like, what is this? Like, I watch a lot of tragedy TV shows. On Teen Wolf, I was just like, how do they still care about their lacrosse team and, like, lacrosse scores when they're also dealing with, like, not dying because the... And the, the evil wolf pack is now attacking their wolf pack and like they might die. How are they also caring about school? Here, the, the sport is the thing with the drama because of the Yakuza, but also nothing about it makes any sense. Like they just wouldn't be on this team. Like the, like the kind of torture that they go through, like physical, actual torture and violence. And they like get so upset when the coach benches them for like one week because they like they've got to play i'm like um you would be like they would have like 50 more players on this team so that you wouldn't just be just enough players to where if all of you play the entire game you can qualify like no they would have other players on the team like fuck off like they're like the night's watch in game of thrones only it's fake lacrosse with with like the rules are like, don't ask. It's co-ed for some reason. And the people playing it are like, I, I, I don't understand any of this. <laughs> this series is the most ridiculous. And then and then there's queer, um, uh, a queer romance in it. I'm totally fine with two boys like 
having the hots for each other. Like, absolutely here for it. But it's with the psychopath murderer. <laughs> so that's the part I'm not fine with because he's crazy and murdery and doing a lot of very not okay things. So boys on boys, yes, do it. Here for it. Have a good time. I'll read about it and I will ship you forever. But I don't ship our main character falling for the guy who murders people and thinks it's okay. <laughs> There's even a part where our main character is there while Murder Boy is threatening the life or like like completely like going after this girl and he's like fine with it. I, I kept waiting for him to be mad about it but he's just like yeah you know I don't really like her so like it's a little over the top what are you gonna do? I'm like what? What is any of this? Why? Why am I reading this? Oh my god. So in summation, that book series is bonkers. Like I don't understand any of the choices the author made. I just kept reading it like it was like a tire fire or a train wreck that you just like can't stop watching. I was like, what? How could this get crazier? And then it does. And I was like, that's gotta be it, right? You cannot possibly get crazier than that. And then it does. And I'm just like, what is any of this? What is any of this? Okay, so yeah. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read the All for the Game trilogy, how you felt about it. Um, if you can enlighten me as to why these decisions were made by the authors. What? <laughs> um, yeah, let me know all the things. I post bookish videos on Saturdays, so like and subscribe. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.